Hey guys, so we have to come to an understanding of seeing the world around us the way that God sees it. But how do we do that? Got a minute? Let's start in Romans 12. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So before we gave our life to Christ, we were in the world. So we have a pattern of thinking that matches the world, at least in some extent, and we have to fix that. And so one of the things that we have to do is we have to empty ourselves. We have to empty our cup to be able to hold more. It's like we have so much like that we think that we know and we put it all in this one big cup and then we don't have enough space for new stuff. We don't have enough space for new revelation. What if we emptied our cup entirely and decided that we were just going to say, God, you define what reality is. Just completely throw all of our trust in him and not lean on any of our own understanding. A cool guy named Leonard Ravenhill said, One of these days, some simple soul will pick up the book of God, read it, and believe it. Then the rest of us will be embarrassed. What he's pointing at here is the ability to accept all of what God is telling us. A lot of times we don't want to accept it just the way that it is. We want to want it to filter through our way of thinking. How much surrender does it take to be able to say, God, I am letting you define my reality. A lot of times whenever things don't go the way that we think that they're going to, we come up with excuses and we try to explain away why God didn't do this or why you know this would happen. But what if we just said, God, I'm letting you. I trust in you and who you are and I'm letting you define reality. Letting God redefine the rules that we live by. That's the real heart of Romans 12. Thanks for spending a minute.